Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take a detailed look at the newly refreshed 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. And this is going to be a detailed, in-depth review of the SRT8 Grand Cherokee. We'll start up, show the engine, get an exhaust clipping over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects of the interior, as well as exterior. And before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to extend a special shout out and big thanks to two separate organizations, North Point Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram located in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, as well as Lake Norman Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram located in Cornelius, North Carolina, for allowing me to come out and film the newest 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up, let her run. As you can see, the SRT8 does come standard with remote start. Now the Grand Cherokee in general does come standard with a remote smart key access system. So all you have to do is just keep the key fob in your pocket and locating the black buttons and the touch sensors in both the driver and passenger side doors, you're able to lock and unlock the vehicle. To lock, just tap the black button, the horn will chime momentarily, then after waiting a second, just grab the handle, there's a touch sensor behind, and it automatically unlocks the vehicle. The exterior color is known as bright white, featuring an SRT specific interior of Morocco black premium Napa leather, as well as microfiber suede upholstery. And along with that smart key system, there's also remote push button ignition by the red accented button mounted in the dash. It's also SRT specific. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. Beautiful sound. New for 2014 is an electric assist speed proportional rack and pinion steering system in a beautiful SRT specific four spoke leather wrap steering wheel with perforations across the sides, heavy grips up top and down below with a flat bottom race inspired design. Polished aluminum also accents the lower spokes while the multifunction controls are accented in satin silver and modest chrome around the horn ring. Performance and fuel economy also get a boost thanks to a new ZF sourced electronically controlled 8 speed automatic transmission controlled via this controller mounted in the center console. Now it's a pretty simple system to use. You just press this little button right here to unlock and pull it down to drive. In this mode, you can also shift the vehicle manually via the aluminum panel shifters mounted on the back of the steering wheel. To put it in neutral, just click it up once, once more while holding the unlock button for reverse and your backup camera will automatically appear with guidance lines that automatically adjust as you turn the wheel. Then for park, just hit the unlock button again and push it all the way forward. Nicely accented in high gloss black trim, chrome and perforated leather. And so, we're going to flip on the automatic projector headlamps, fog lamps, as well as the hazards. Both the front windows are fully automatic and with laminated glass for better safety and noise isolation. 
So let's go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? You'll also notice that the interior will be letting you know it's lost detection of the proximity key fob. For the past few years now, Chrysler Group has been on the rise, churning out new models like hotcakes in a passionate effort to shed any previous images regarding quality and design by debuting some of the most well-valued, exciting, and well-built vehicles in the domestic market. The 2014 Grand Cherokee lineup is no exception, and while the newest gen just came out for 2011, 2014 debuts a thorough refresh inside and out, which does more to align it with the rest of the modern Mopar corporate design language as well as introduce some new options in performance, economy, and technology. This is especially true with the SRT8, which is further enhanced over 2013 in just about every way possible. The first thing you notice is an all-new front end that features black mesh within the signature Jeep 7-slot grille amongst an all-black housing that cradles new dark-tinted headlamps. It's really the finer details where you see the elegant design elements such as the more narrow LED accent and bi-xenon headlamps and narrower grille that features chrome outlines around each slot versus a one-piece chrome fascia. Not to mention the super cool throwback elements in each headlight lens. On the driver's side, it's inscripted with since 1941 and on the passenger side with the little WW2G. The front end looks taller and is pretty much trimmed specifically for each model. The Overland is different from the Summit, which is different from the SRT, and of course the Laredo. The SRT differs itself by large air intakes down below to provide better ventilation and pass air through to the brakes via chrome accented vents. LED daytime run lamps also is surrounded by black trim, while the hood features massive, functional heat extractor vents. What this does is that it makes them all unique and special, so when you buy one, you're actually buying a unique look versus an accessory package with wheels. Body-colored moldings, flared fenders, and an equally unique rear clip add to the aggression of the SRT. The rear features a blacked-out lower clip with the SRT logo and dual 4-inch black chrome exhaust tips. In general, the new Grand Cherokee is more refined out back with subtle chrome in certain models, LED tail lamps, and optional power liftgate. Also optional on the SRT is a luxury package that adds all the newest safety features like adaptive cruise control, parking sensors front and rear, lane departure warning, and blind spot monitoring with rear cross path detection. The Grand Cherokee SRT8 might as well be the flagship of the SRT lineup if you don't count the Viper. Featuring the latest technology and innovation to take full use of its 470 horsepower and make sure all of the 465 pound-feet of torque remains planted to the ground. Thanks to a new 8-speed torque flight automatic transmission, acceleration has been improved as well as gear change responsiveness. Now included are rev matching downshifts for quicker, smoother operation. Also, with a beefier rear axle, the SRT, along with the other V8 models, can tow upwards of 7,200 pounds, an improvement of 2,200 pounds over the 2013 models. The hydraulic steering has also been improved thanks to a new heavy-duty pump and cooler. The steering box also features revised gearing for a more direct on-center feel. In general, there are also a variety of off-road packages for the lineup depending on your trim level. But the SRT8 isn't trail rated nor is it equipped to off-road as much as say a Grand Cherokee Summit. The Summit actually comes standard with the Top Dog Quadra Drive 2 all-wheel drive system paired with the optional Select Terrain system for tailoring the setup to different ground conditions. That vehicle features pneumatic springs and air ride control to allow you to raise or lower the suspension as high as 11 inches of ground clearance or lower it by 1.6 inches from its normal factory stance for easy entry and exit. There's also an aero function that lowers it automatically while traveling down the highway to limit wind resistance and improve fuel economy. The SRT8 on the other hand features Jeep's Quadratrack full-time all-wheel drive system and an electronically controlled limited slip rear differential. It features five driving modes controlled via a rotary dial in the center console, just like the terrain setup. Track, Sport, Auto, Snow, and Tow mode, in addition to activation of the vehicle's launch control. Each mode has their own damping and shift mapping based on driving characteristics, road conditions, or if you need to tow something. In Auto, Sport, and Track, torque proportioning varies but is generally rear-wheel biased except in Tow and Snow mode, where it's distributed 50-50 between the front and rear. All in all, it can transmit up to 70% of the vehicle's available torque to the rear wheels while in track mode. In the sportier settings, it also relaxes the various safety measures, but still retains some anti-roll and stability protection, being that it is a larger SUV and not a sports car. It also uses sensors to detect wheel slip and is able to transfer up to 100% of the vehicle's torque to whichever rear wheel that has the most traction. It's not necessarily a torque vectoring system, 
but it can predict the possibility of wheel slippage based on road conditions and therefore anticipate torque transfer before it's actually needed. The Grand Cherokee SRT8 features a unique set of 20-inch forged aluminum alloy wheels that can be had in a few different styles and finishes. These in particular are finished in black vapor chrome. They're wrapped in 295-45 Pirelli P0 Summer Performance tires. Brakes are also larger than the standard Grand Cherokee V8s to handle the increased power demands. They consist of 15 by 1.3 inch internally ventilated disc brakes up front with 6 piston fixed calipers and 13.8 by 1.1 inch vented discs in the rear with 4 piston fixed calipers. This setup can bring the vehicle to a stop from 60 miles an hour in a very short 106 feet. Very impressive especially considering it's an SUV that weighs over 5,000 pounds. The coilover suspension is fully independent with double wishbones in front and a multi-link rear suspension, not to mention a 5-mode driver adjustable damper system like I touched on earlier in addition to stabilizer bars. With this setup, the new SRT8 has been tested to pull up to 0.9G in lateral cornering forces on the skid pad. Overall length is 191.3 inches with a width of 77.1 inches and a height of 69.1 inches. Total curb weight depending on how equipped is around 5,300 pounds. So let's go and pop the hood. The SRT8 features a traditional yet potent power plant consisting of a naturally aspirated 6.4 liter overhead valve pushrod Hemi V8 that features port fuel injection, two valves per cylinder and a cast iron block with aluminum heads and sodium filled exhaust valves. It also has a compression ratio of 10.9 to 1 and a 6200 RPM redline. This tried and true design produces an impressive 470 horsepower at 6000 RPM and 465 pound-feet of torque at 4300 RPM, which translates to 0 to 60 times as fast as 4.4 seconds and quarter mile times of 13.1 seconds at 103.6 miles an hour. Top speed is limited to approximately 160 miles an hour. Aiden in Fuel Economy is a standard active fuel management system that shuts down four cylinders of cruising speed, creating a V4 configuration. An active valve exhaust system, which opens in track mode and is closed otherwise until the vehicle reaches certain RPMs, allows the V4 to activate over a wider RPM band, thus increasing mileage by 13%. As far as fuel economy, with a 24.6 gallon tank on recommended premium fuel, expect a range of around 13 city and 19 on the highway. The interior of the Grand Cherokee SRT takes everything that's great about the newest gen products and really turns up the volume. When the latest Grand Cherokee came out for 2011, it too featured a well-built interior, but still wasn't quite up to the polished designs seen in the 2011 Charger and 300. 2014 fixes this with a fully polished version of the interior that more matches the rest of the newest Chrysler Group lineup. The largest difference is the dash with an all new infotainment system that's also used in the other new Mopar cars. The doors, dash, and many of the interior surfaces feature stitched leather, suede and perforated microfiber, and padded accents. SRT vehicles also replace the wood trim for high gloss carbon fiber across the doors and dash. Fit and finish is excellent and really shows the hand craftsmanship and pride put into various elements of the interior. You can have a couple different seat choice materials including full leather like we have here or the leather in combination of suede microfiber with the other one. It's perforated across the middle for the heated and ventilated function of the seat and features white color accent stitching. Good amount of lateral grip up top and down below with a priority on comfort and support. The headrests are also adjustable as are the seat belts and feature integrated side airbags. They're also fully electric with all of your power adjustments down below and 4-way power lumbar. Aluminum door sill plaques, logoed floor mats, and SRT specific aluminum sport pedals. The driver's side gets a standard knee airbag, and the steering wheel is also heated and full power tilt telescoping. Taking a closer look at the dash, you'll see all the stitched leather coming across the entire length of the vehicle, also accented in color accent stitching. Nicely finished off with the newly optional full panoramic sunroof. So let's go and see if she sounds. and there is a rep limiter in park and neutral around 3500 RPM.
subtle gun, shut her up. Nice tight door fitment. Now this SRT8 features the optional premium 19 speaker Harman Kardon Logic 7 digital surround sound system pumping out 825 watts of musical power. All that multimedia is fed through the newest generation Uconnect mobile media navigation telemetrics interface. It's an 8.4 inch touchscreen based navigation system with built in satellite radio. It's hands free Bluetooth connectivity, not to mention SRT specific apps for recording track data and I'll show all of that in its appropriate part in just a second. Not to mention the beautiful leather accenting the dash with color accent stitching. Your side curtain airbags, grip handles, cloth line visors. Not to mention the standard auto dimming movie mirror with integrated 911 assist roadside assistance located down below here in the two buttons. In the top stack here houses your hands free Bluetooth microphone, interior illumination, as well as reading lamps. Not to mention a padded sunglass container. Ambient illumination also beams down at night, your three position garage home link, and controls for your fully automatic sunshade as well as sunroof. Nice wide opening with a wind deflector that pops up. And the sunshade. Now as far as the Uconnect mobile media system, it's actually quite simple to use. Out of all the different systems I've used over the time doing these videos, it's probably my favorite, not only for its functionality, but its applications anywhere from the Dodge Dart all the way to the Maserati Quattroporte. The graphics are nice high resolution, all of your system functions are located down below, and there's high functionality and customizability to it, so especially with the SRT version, I'll show you what that means in just a second. Right now, we're in our main media screen where you have your different options off to the left, including your CD player located in the center console, iPod, auxiliary integration, as well as SD card input, USB, and hands-free Bluetooth streaming of audio. Depending on what MP3 player that you have um, connected up currently, you can browse the songs, playlist, songs, artists, go between the different tracks, pause, as well as scroll up top. You can also shuffle the song so it's full functionality like you're using your iPod. With the navigation, you can dual yield the screen for your song information as well as navigation, song artist information, as well as a shortcut to view the available tracks. Your audio adjustments are located down below, your equalizer, speed compensated volume, and surround sound activation. If we go on over to radio, he gives us the different options, AM, FM, as well as standard Sirius XM satellite radio. Browse the available stations, presets, favorites, sports, as well as traffic and weather. With the built-in hard drive, you can also replay songs. So with this system, it'll actually record the song that you're listening to. You can rewind, double back, fast forward, and go back to live radio. Also, select in between the different stations, manual tuning, shortcut traffic and weather, and your audio adjustments before. You can also dual yield your map in this screen. And this little favorite icon, you can add a favorite artist or tag a favorite song. And if it's playing, doesn't matter which station it's on, it'll let you know at the top of the little green indication. You hit that button, it'll automatically take you to the station where the song or artist is playing. Continuing on, the controls. You can control your auto dimming rear view mirror from this screen. The system settings include all of the personalizable options. It really goes quite in depth. You can turn on the heated seat as well as the um, steering wheel when it's cold. Sounding the horn with the remote start. I mean, different functions that you can automatically activate when you use remote start. Safety, driving, auto on, comfort. I mean, it just goes on and on. Also in the control screen are your heated and ventilated seats and the heated steering wheel. 
As far as your climate control, it's a standard dual zone, fully automatic setup with your temperature adjustments on each side, as well as basic controls located down below. Go in between your different zones, bringing up the controls again, fan speed, max AC, recycling, one touch automatic, as well as front and rear defrost. All those basic commands are also located down below here if you didn't want to go through the Uconnect system. So your fan speed in the middle, temperature adjustment, front and rear defrost, and one touch automatic. As far as your navigation, it's a Garmin based system, so it's pretty simple to use. Nice and quick between your points of interest, favorite locations, high res map, you also have real time traffic updates. as well as trick computer, one touch emergency assistance, navigation settings. As far as your hands-free Bluetooth telephone, it'll automatically ask you to pair it or automatically connect if it's already both well, synced. Favorite numbers up top here, phone books, storing messages and recent calls, as well as voice dialing through the voice recognition system. You can also join calls to have multiple like, like three-way calls. And your settings, it'll also list all of your devices here. As far as the SRT performance pages and apps, the newest Uconnect systems also double as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Select which ones are your favorite, you can also upload custom apps, but what's really cool are the SRT performance pages, only to the SRT vehicles. So basically this is the main screen here. You have various timers for 0 to 60, quarter miles, eighth of a mile, braking distances, you're also able to save it and upload it to a site where you can share it with your friends. Lateral G's, various system gauges, It's also another page that shows a little bit more. Engine data, instantaneous horsepower and torque as well as oil pressure. Not to mention the gear as well as the speed. The options page allow you to customize it a little bit more, so you can select the home picture, as well as select the different color. Definitely a neat system and adds a little bit of a unique flavor to the SRT vehicles. Back to the app screen, you have your Sirius XM travel link with real-time weather updates, extended forecast based on location, as well as a weather map. your traffic, sports, movie listings, as well as local fuel prices. But in a nutshell, those are all the basic features of the Uconnect system available in the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRTA. As we come down the center stack, there's a screen off button to turn it off if you didn't want it on, especially at night. There's a back button, your radio volume, as well as tune and option selection. And they're covered as well as the um, fan speed knob and like a, a knurled rubberized texture so it gives a nice sure footed grip. Down below the climate control is your parking sensors off, your adaptive cruise control turning it off, eco activates or deactivates the cylinder deactivation system so while you're cruising down the road at a normal speed without um, burying the pedals so to speak it'll um, shut off four of the cylinders and create a V4 format saving a little bit of fuel. Not to mention your traction settings. As we continue down the center console, you'll see everything is nicely integrated and smoothed out for 2014. Center console, you also have a um, drive mode selector like you would find in a Grand Cherokee Summit, but it doesn't have quite as many off-road functions like you would see in that vehicle, obviously because this one's more of a um, road performance vehicle. But you do have a snow mode, towing mode, sport, as well as track. Now, it also has a standard launch control system that you can see right there. To activate, just pull it down to drive, Make sure that the vehicle is in track mode. It'll automatically let you know on the screen that you're in track mode, and then just hit launch. two cup holders, they're adjustable and illuminated, and a hidden storage compartment down below that houses your media inputs, 
iPod auxiliary integration, as well as USB and SD card. There's also a 12 volt power outlet. Continuing on, you have a full padded center console with a modest amount of storage because your CD player is located in here and a 12 volt power outlet. As far as the steering wheel, as in typical Chrysler Group fashion, the radio controls are located on the back. The right hand side corresponds to your radio volume and as well as changing the different media modes and the left is scrolling through the different radio stations as well as your changing between your presets. The left hand side of the steering wheel consists of your driver information controls, your hands free telephone and voice commands, help. To play music, include the type, which can be song, artist, album, genre, playlist, audiobook, or podcast. Say things like, play song, Maple Leaf Rag, play artist, Scott Joplin, or play track five. You can interrupt this help message by pressing the voice button for rate. Cancel. Cancelled. So you can basically control every aspect of the vehicle from radio to your navigation system. Cruise control is located over here, as well as your adaptive cruise settings, setting the distance between the cars in front of you, located down below. Now another neat thing about the SRT Jeep is a unique instrumentation cluster with a blue accent and gauges. Another cool thing about the Grand Cherokee for 2014 in general is the now available new 7-inch LCD TFT display or thin film transistor. It basically incorporates analog style gauges in a digital fashion, so there's a whole lot of functionality and customizability to it. You have analog gauges on the sides and little accent rings that kind of completes the circle side to side, which is neat. So it actually looks like three pods if you're not paying attention. So in the middle, you have a standard speedometer. Using the little directional arrows on the left hand side of the steering wheel, you can go between your different options. Go between miles per hour and kilometers, vehicle information, Various terrain settings, like I mentioned earlier, with the track, sport, snow, as well as um, automatic modes. Your adaptive cruise control, fuel data, trip computer, radio, messages like service reminders, as well as screen setup so you can customize what displays in which sections. Not to mention an SRT performance screen similar to what I showed you in the Uconnect screen. It just beams it up on the speedometer cluster so you can keep a little bit more of a closer eye on it. Alrighty. We're going to shut her down. And let's go and check out the back seat. Back seat passengers in the Grand Cherokee are also treated with a generous amount of luxury and comfort amenities. Soft padded trim and leather also covers the door panels. Not to mention the unique color scheme. Perforated Alcantara also coming across the center. Just like the front, the back is also wrapped in the SRT specific Laguna leather package. Again, with beautiful attention to detail and perforated middle inserts. The back seats are also two stage heated. We'll hop on in just a second to show you what it's like to sit in the back seat, but if you need a little bit more storage room, say if you want to let cargo go all the way to the front seats, you can also fold the seats down via this single lever here. Just pull it, the headrest collapse, and then you fold it down and it locks. And there's a little partition to cover up the hole here. Therefore, you get a nice flat loading space from the front to the rear. Now, as you'd expect for a larger SUV, back seat room is also plentiful with a nice tall opening. It's easy for taller individuals to climb into the back. Doors close with a nice reassuring thud with nice tight panel fitment, like I talked about in the front. And as far as realistic passenger space, I'm 5'11", and I probably have a good four and a half, five inches of leg space for someone sitting up um, of my height in the front seat. 
as well as three and a half, four inches, maybe even a little bit more if you tilt your head back a little bit. Something that's also nice about these SRT seats in the back, you can also recline them back quite a way so you can basically just recline back put the armrest down and enjoy a longer trip there's also not a whole lot of hardware underneath the seat so you can stick your feet up under there if you need to stretch out a little bit more and they also recline a little bit more straight up that's about the furthest it'll go the armrest is nice and padded there's two cup holders in the middle grip handles as well as coat hooks and reading lamps out back the seats are also pretty comfortable in general. The microfiber suede feels really nice and warm upon entry. A little bit of bolstering, a little bit more across the back, and nice lower back support. Down below you have your two air registers, two USB inputs, as well as two stage heated seats like I touched on earlier. There's also an AC household outlet down below for plugging in household electronics. and side curtain airbags for the rear. Definitely a nice seating position for someone who wants to take a longer trip in the SRT. Now there's no third row seat which allows for more cargo space if you didn't need that extra seating. Open up the power lift gate and you'll find around 36.3 cubic feet with the seats folded up. If you need even more room, fold the seats down and it expands to a large 68.3 cubic feet. All of the upper trim level Grand Cherokees feature the polished runners across the floor. The rear is also illuminated with cargo anchors, power outlet, and side storage pockets, not to mention a rear cargo cover for privacy. Open up the floor panel and you also have a little bit more storage down below with your spare tire. The passenger seat also features the same power adjustments, including four-way power lumbar that you find on the driver's seat. Lockable glove box, lined in felt, and also illuminated with a good amount of space. 2014 takes the Grand Cherokee to the next level with new tech, performance, and economy. With its polished design and build, it still remains a great value with wide versatility to cater to just about anyone, whether it's for economy, performance, or practicality. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth look at the newly refreshed 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. 
Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where that came from. Take care, everybody.